In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an online education template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this uh, concept where one side I have added the mobile device, all right, and the other side I have designed, I have added one uh, page, uh, a book page or a book kind of thing here. All right, so if you see here, I've just put the time here and I put online education and here I have added uh, just some still images here if you want you can just replace this one with a video or with audio with icons or uh, different uh, uh, things you can add it here depending on your requirement all right so and here i have just added some notes and some handwritten text i have added here so if you want you can just add some uh, the, the graphs or some diagrams or some theorems depending on your requirement you can just add as a, whatever you need and I have added one more slide where when I click it goes and it opens and then you can see here I've added just a empty uh, a blank pages here all right so you can add as many blank pages as you want depending on your requirement and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides and i'm going to change the background of the slide you can add any color of the background or you can add any gradient fill so at the moment i'm just going to change the color of the background for that right mouse click go to format background and I can just choose any color of my choice I'm just choosing this and later on I'm going to replace this with a gradient fill then I'm going to add one mobile device for that go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement how much height and width you need and make sure to drag this outside to make it less curved okay something like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can choose a black color here and then you can just go to the effects and here under 3d format you can see this contour i can just choose any white color here all right so it looks something like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the screen for that let me just go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the same rounded corner rectangle and shape fill i can give any color of my choice i'm going to give this color shape outline make it no outline make it less curve you can see here and exactly place it here at the top from the top till here just make sure that or you can hold the alt also so align it perfectly and if you want to bring it down it's up to you and if you want to uh, place a home button also that also can be done go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and exactly put it in the center all right and then shape outline make it no outline i can just give some gradient fill a uh, gradient fill of you can see here a uh, dark gray and somewhat kind of a black color here okay let me just zoom in and then i can hold the shift key and reduce the size and make sure that it is center aligned all right so now uh, we have uh, completed this one and now it's time to add the the book for that go to insert shapes again i'm going to select the rectangle here draw the rectangle if you want you can just make it somewhat bigger also uh, bigger than the mobile device and here and this also i'm just going to select and bring it near to the the grid line you can see here like this and this one shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can go to more fill colors standard and i can give some dark brown color here something like this and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate shape fill i'm going to make it white reduce the size this is the paper which i'm going to put it here the page all right something like this you can make it and if you want you can give some shadow effect also something like this then i'm going to draw the lines go to insert shapes select the line 
and draw the line by giving some space there and hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line and shape outline i can just give any red color and you can make it more transparent you can see here something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate and give some gap and just start pressing ctrl d till the end here okay and select this line and sometimes what happens here is it will not be aligned properly so i have to just make it align left all right and then i'm going to press ctrl g to group it all right so you can see here i have added the line now it's time to add the the spiral binding here for that let me just zoom in i'm going here and go to insert shapes i'm going to select the basic shape or for the oval shape here draw one oval shape at the side of the paper by holding the shift key you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark colors something like this and press or you can press ctrl shift together and just drag it one more and just bring it this side you can see here something like this and then go to insert sorry go to insert shapes and i can just select this one from the flow chart uh, the terminator and draw the terminator you can see here all right and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some shadow effect for this and then i'm going to give a gradient fill so gradient fill i'm going to select the gradient fill here the first top i'm going to choose some uh, gray color you can see here and here i'm going to choose somewhat lighter color and here again i'm going to choose some gray color and the direction i'm going to choose this one sorry i'm going to choose uh, this one you can see here and then if you want more darker at the edges you can make it something like this all right now i have to just make sure that it is properly aligned in the center then i'm going to select these three or you can just select one hold the shift key click and click on this one so all these three shapes got selected press ctrl g to group it and then press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and then just give some gap and keep on duplicating this one you can see here this is not straight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all this align left you can see here and then this also i'm going to press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one here again if you want to change the color or whatever you can just uh, do that one so uh, you can see here we have completed the basic design adding the the mobile device at uh, the one side and the, the paper at the other side so first of all let me just go and remove these uh, guides here you can see something like this and then i'm going to add uh, some uh, kind of uh, images or videos depending on your requirement you can just add it first of all let me just go insert and text box and i'm just going to add the time here for example it's 9 am i'm just adding some time all right make it white and I'm going to choose the font Helvetica or any other good font you can just choose it all right so I'm just going to place it exactly in the center and then here I'm going to insert some shapes so as if uh, the teacher is uh, giving the or taking the class kind of thing shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and I'm going to make it somewhat transparent all right and here I'm going to give one more heading which is uh, online education or meeting whatever you can just say let me just select this and reduce the size somewhat I'll bring this down just align it properly and then here you can add the image you can add the video to add the image or icons i can just simply go to insert icons and i can just simply add any image from this one any icon from this one you can see here let me just scroll it down and i'm just going to add maybe let me just see whether i missed or it is down i don't remember that somewhere i think there is somewhere up i don't know where it is but anyway let me just uh, select any good uh, icon from this 
all right so maybe i'm going to choose this one and click insert bring it here you can see here something like this or if you want to add a video or an audio whatever in that case you have to go to insert you can see here video part here either you can just choose any online video or you can just choose a video which is already saved on your pc so based on this uh, uh this thing this options you can insert the video here or if you want to add the audio you can just again use the audio also audio on my pc or you can simply record the audio also here so here i'm not going to add any video or the audio i'm just going to add this icon or you can just replace uh, some image here that is also very good and then if you want you can just add few more uh, images at the bottom kind of a students or something like that all right so this is the one side of this one and the other side of this one i'm just going to add some notes so go to insert text box and i'm just going to add some notes here all right and i'm just going to place the text here and go to insert i'm going to add some detailed notes equals lorem within within brackets one i've got this latin text and i'm going to change the font to hand of sean you can see here and you can give a gap between this all right you can see here something let me just undo this and put it here all right something like this you can just think of doing that one and if you want to change the color you can just change it whichever way you want you can do it so you can see here we have added uh, this the mobile device and some icons with images and all those things and on the left side i have added some notes and then if you want to add more pages to it what i can do is i can just simply select this slide right mouse click duplicate the slide you can see here and this particular text i'm going to delete it for example i'm just going to add a, a plain pages here and then i'm going to duplicate this first of all i'm going to select this and this the lines press ctrl g to duplicate uh, group it and press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side hold the or just without holding the shift key i can just reduce the size something like this here and i'm going to place it here increase it and then i'm going to select the spiral binding bring to front all right so it looks something like this now for this i'm going to add some kind of animation to it so what the animation let me just close this format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one this page add animation go to more entrance effects you can see the stretch here click on stretch click ok and this effect options i'm going to say from left so it opens something like this and using the animation painter i'm just going to copy this to this particular page and this one it should come from right all right and this should happen this animation should happen with previous all right so let me just show you how it, uh, the slide looks i'm just selecting the the slide number four which i've just created and the slide number five so let me just do a slideshow. You can see here, this is my first page where I'm just doing, talking about online education and some details here. And when I go to the next one, this, can you see here, it opens something like this, a new page. All right. Okay. Or if you don't want that one, if you want the this line also, then in that case, you need to copy the page here also. So depending on your requirement, you can add it. And then the how many pages you want, you can just simply select and keep on duplicating this one. You can see here, I can just add as many as I want. So depending on your requirement, you can just change it. 